Hi everyone, greetings from Jim. The heart of the machine is its power source. For battery operated aerial world platform, the most important thing we have to look after is battery because battery is the heart of the machine. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to take care of the battery. Be careful while opening the battery compartment and make sure all the power sources are unplugged, free of obstacles and place the machine in a safe area. Open the battery compartment and do the same procedure which I am going to demonstrate to you on this table. Hello everyone, welcome to Gemini. My name is Venkat, Technical Support and Assistant Manager after Sales and Service in Gemini Power Hydraulics. So today we will discuss on how to maintain the deep cycle batteries. To maximize the performance of your deep cycle battery, we highly recommend routine service and maintenance check. The maintenance check should include the following points. Examining the condition of the battery, checking the terminals of the battery, checking specific gravity and checking the voltage of the battery. When servicing an industrial deep cycle battery, you should ensure that you have a proper toolkit. That toolbox should contain safety glasses, gloves, multimeter, hydrometer, proper spanner, wire brush, funnel, distilled water and disposable towels. Before starting the maintenance work, wear safety glasses and hand gloves. For examining the battery condition, I will show you how to clean the acid residue and debris over the battery and how to remove the battery cable over the battery. Make sure the vent is not open, otherwise the debris and acid residue will go inside the battery. For cleaning the battery, first use a proper spanner to remove the battery cable and you have to ensure that it should not touch any other part of the body. Gently remove it. After removing the battery cable, use a disposable cloth for cleaning the acid residue and debris. Clean it properly. Use a battery terminal spray for cleaning the terminals or you can use water as well. And also clean the battery terminal cable as well. After cleaning the battery, apply some amount of silicon gel over the battery cable and over the terminal. While connecting the cable, make sure that you are tightened up properly. If you tighten it up so hard, this will damage the terminal. If anything has loosened up, then it will melt down the battery terminal. Now I will show you how to check the voltage of the battery. For checking the voltage of the battery, you need a multimeter or voltmeter like this. A multimeter have two probes, red one is the positive probe, black one is the negative probe. So before checking the voltage, place the pointer over DC, you can see DC comes here. Then place the negative probe to the negative terminal, positive probe to the positive terminal. The voltage of the battery is 6.18. You can refer the state of charge chart by referring that you will came to know the exact battery percentage. Now the battery voltage is 6.18. The percentage of the battery is 70. For checking the specific gravity of the battery, you need a hydrometer like this, which will be available in automobile shop nearby you. So now I will show you how to check the specific gravity of the battery. In a hydrometer, you can see a floater inside this. In this floater, there are three color indications are there. Red, blue, yellow. Red is low, blue normal, yellow is high. A proper reading for a specific gravity is 1277. Remove the battery vent cap. Insert the hydrometer. Make sure that this floater is moving freely. Now the specific gravity of the battery is 1277, which is fine. Repeat the same procedure for all the cells and note down the reading in a weekly basis. Because our deep cycle battery is connected in series, so if any one of the cell gets affected, it will gradually affect all the battery. If any one of the cell value is too low, then you have to repair the cell or you have to replace the battery, which will not affect the other batteries. So make sure that you are checking the specific gravity before filling the DM water. Because after filling the distilled water, it will give false reading. While charging the battery, the electrolyte level will rise up. So what happens if you fill the battery water over the vent well, it will 
cause the spillage over the battery which will affect the terminals use a funnel for filling the battery water always make sure the water level is below the vent well after filling up the water please clean all the vent and spillage over the battery we really hope that you have got some good information on this video we gemini has specially made a lead acid maintenance book for you this lead acid battery maintenance book contain how to check the specific gravity of the battery how to check the voltage and it also have two reports daily and weekly reports this will obviously increase the performance of the battery I want to thank you and encourage you whenever you need gemini is always with you thank you